हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल एग्जाम्स मेड इजी आई होप यू आर हैविंग ए गुड टाइम फ्रेंड्स एग्जाम्स मेड इजी इज योर वन स्टॉप सॉल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग ए फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव कम अप विथ अ होल न्यू वीडियो हु विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लेटेस्ट कोर्ट के स्टेटस एंड ऑल्सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग ए लाइक व्हाट आर द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इफ यू वुड लाइक टू एनरोल योर सेल्फ विथ ए प्रोग्राम and also what is the time requirement and what are the subjects and what is the entire exam procedure registration procedure and so on and so forth so friends let's start the detailed analysis of ami and if you are having any query regarding this video regarding any information of ami please write down your com uh, comment in the comment box below friends through this video we will be discussing detail about ami like what is iei what is ami what are who are the students that can enroll themselves with ami program what is the procedure to get the membership of ami what about the recognition of ami what are the syllabus depending on the different branches so on and so forth so friends let's come to the first point that is what is iei iei stands for institute of engineers india head office of institution of engineers india is located at kolkata it is the largest professional body of engineers in india the iei started non formal engineering education program year back in 1928 it is the authority that prepares syllabus conduct examination and issue certificate etc of ami the official website is iei india dot info if you would, uh, the uh, this link is already provided in our description box if you would like to visit the official website of ami you can follow the link so friends what is ami why it is known as ami since the institution is known as institution of engineers india but the degree is actually generally you no know, called as ami but the degree that is awarded to the students is associate membership membership like this so associate membership of institute of engineers this is ami is the only way through which one can study engineering in the distance education mode and get a recognized engineering degree since engineering degree in distance mode is not valid anymore in india but in case of ami a uh, case is pending from about in the year 2012 a first case was filed and the final verdict has not yet came so the case is still uh, uh, pending i you can say but till this moment it is positive in favor of ami you can say so it is non formal why it is non formal what does non formal means since earlier we have also mentioned the same thing that the iei started non formal engineering education so what is non formal in engineering education the attraction of ami is that it is a non formal course hence anyone who meets the specified educational qualification and have a desire to become a graduate engineer can do this course in least possible time and least possible time is also an attraction of this course why the least possible time is mentioned that also we'll discuss later on so this course is especially suitable for employed persons so this is what is the main thing of ami actually this course is made for employed persons employed person means the diploma holders after their diploma they have joined uh, government services or private services and at this moment it is not possible for them to achieve engineering degree in regular mode so ami is the on only way for them to get engineering degree okay so as they can study this course without interfering their job whether they are in india or abroad person who are employed can realize their dream of becoming qualified engineers and can improve their position and employment pro prospects by passing the ami examination through postal coaching and postal coaching also is provided by some of the institutes like you can say jyotish academy is one of them and uh, past a recognized tier polytechnic diploma or equivalent in any branch engineering so the if you would like to do ami then you have to pass 3 years polytechnic diploma but it is not mandatory you can do after your 10 plus 2 also but in that case the number of subjects will be more and the i mean more time will be uh, required so that's what also we will discuss so now coming to who can study ami 
so if you have passed 3 years polytechnic diploma and you would uh, if your age is within 18 years okay so now coming to membership the services and benefits of institution of engineers india is offered only to its members hence in order to appear for ami examination one has to become a member of iei that means simply you have to register with iei so what is the registration process to get your membership so that's what we'll discuss this membership is called st membership st stands for senior technician so anyone who got membership become eligible for appearing ami examination the membership admission procedure enrollment is given to all who meet the stipulated eligibility criteria so what is the eligibility criteria you have to pass 3 years diploma course in any stream engineering and your age should have to be more than 18 years okay or 18 years so diploma holder are usually called senior technician and if you are non diploma that means after 10 plus 2 if you would like to enroll yourself with ami program then you will be called as only te technician so now coming to recognition so friends if we uh, say, if we you know, say here like it is mentioned that all the government uh, all state governments aict upsc they approved ami we cannot say like this since the case is still pending in honorable delhi high court so better i would suggest you to go through the two videos that i have uploaded the link is we provided in description box yet you can say be positive and definitely go for ami degree enroll yourself with ami and do ami because ami is not only recognized in india it is not such that nobody knows about ami if you are an engineer in engineering field everybody else knows ami ami is common to every engineers okay so it's not such that you should uh, not join ami better do engineering degree in distance mode because this is the onlyest way at this point of time to do engineering degree in distance mode if you are working be it gate or upsc ami is separately mentioned as a engineering degree so anyone who passed ami examination will be considered as a btech or be holder for job as well as higher education hence once who completes ami can try for jobs either state government central government private sector etc okay so now coming to the syllabus of ami syllabus of ami examination is more or less similar to be btech so one thing that we should mention the number of subjects in case of ami less than your be or btech but if you talk about the syllabus of the subject is more or less same like if i can say that if you have a subject in civil engineering like fundamentals of design and manufacturing this is from section a though it is compulsory for all the all the um, uh, branches you can say so fundamentals of design and manufacturing if you take this subject you can get two and three subjects are amalgamated within that subject okay so in total if you are a diploma holder you will have to appear you have to pass 9 plus 4 that is 13 subjects but if you analyze if you see the syllabus then 13 the, the, these are not only 13 sub subjects these are 13 into 2 in tw more than 26 subjects okay so let's come to this topic that is syllabus the syllabus of ma examiner is more or less similar to be or btech the ma syllabus has two parts that is section a common for each and every branch and section b that is according to your branch those who join for ami must pass all the subjects in section a you will not get similarities uh, in subjects of section a with your diploma i mean if you are a civil engineering diploma b or electrical engineering diploma you have to um, pass all the four subjects from section a and it is not such you will get similarities be between those subjects and your diploma subjects okay so in section a we study um, subjects which are fundamental to engineering in section b we make in depth study in our chosen branch of engineering so to you can say enrich your fundamentals to engineering you have to do section a then in section b you will get the subjects from your respective branches so what are the subjects the subjects what are the branches uh, the four subjects are there so one subject is not mentioned here fundamentals of design and manufacturing second one's material science and engineering third one is computing and informatics the fourth one is society and environment and detailed description of the subjects is also provided in description box in the form of pdf you can go through the pdf to see the detailed syllabus 
the detailed subject wise syllabus shall be given to you along with our postal course material if you would like to get so following are the engineering branches available so basically 10 engineering branches are mentioned here i think i have no need to you utter them one by one you can see here okay so like electrical electronic civil mechanical production chemical modeless all the engineering branches are available at least the common or main engineering branches are available here of the about 10 engineering branches available a student can choose any branch as he wishes this is one of the attraction of ami and one another thing that i must would like to tell you a student studied automobile engineering and diploma so after diploma you have enrolled yourself with ami program and in diploma say you have automobile but in ami program if you would like to change your stream then you can do that so uh can choose computer science electronics etc in ami so there are nine subjects in your uh, section b uh, out of the nine sub subjects six are compulsory compulsory means say you are from civil engineering branch so all the civil engineering students have to pass those six subjects and the other three subjects you have to choose from three groups there will be three group and uh, there will be some subjects in three groups like one group is say your um, uh, design related structural related and another group is environment related and the another group is say road transportation related so you will you say in in group c all the subjects are related to road railway etc so you have to subject one or two or three sub uh, you have to choose three subjects from that group or from the group of environment or from the group of design or if you would like to choose one subject from one group that is also possible so now coming to the duration what is the time required to complete the ami degree another feature of ami is it is flexible in competition time completion time apart from conventional courses the ami doesn't have a fixed completion time so why ami doesn't have a fixed completion time because you have to pass four subjects in section a and nine subjects in section b together with lab and assignment and the number of subjects you can appear each in each and every semester is four if you can pass all the four subjects in a single attempt then within a, within 6 month you can complete your section a so this is the beauty of ami we can say however 6 year are available for clearing all the section a subjects and cr 6 year are available for clearing section b subject that means the maximum time is given 6 years and no minimum time limitation is mentioned so now coming to examination ami examination are conducted in every june and december and popularly known as winter session and summer session the examination is written type and 3 hours of duration so this is important thing that you should have to know like in uh, uh, your engineering be it diploma or your bachelor degree in engineering you might have got multiple choice questions at least 20 to 30 marks it is not compulsory in case of ami all the all the questions are of conventional type you may get 10 to 15 number of uh, mcq type questions but this is uh, we can say insignificant and this is not compulsory that you will get this year such type of question this is not a kind of bound so no laboratory exam no internal assessment you have to do but in the section b you have to do your lab separately as well as you have to do your assignment also to completely pass your ami degree so friends this is all about ami degree and one important thing what i have to mention here that is how to study ami if you are already you have already enrolled uh, enrolled yourself and you are preparing for ami if you are having any query of section a subjects please let me know i will uh, try to help you and the other thing that i would like to mention if you are a civil engineering branch student then i definitely friends thanks for watching the whole video and subscribe our channel if you would like to get notification of upcoming court case status thank you